Sorry, is Hugh speaking? Oh, hey. How are you doing? I am. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh, you're calling quite early today. Yes. <clears throat> yes. It is the... Uh... Just sitting around going, oh, I'm going to call Stu pretty soon. Yeah. And then then I just call you anyway because I can't be fact waiting for that. Right, well, um, you know, whenever you want to call, that's fine by me. Cool, thanks. Hmm. Oh, did you have something that you wanted to ask? Like, you know, to ask, ask Stu thing? Oh, or? that's right. Um, honestly, I hadn't thought of one before I called. Because sometimes I just want to call just to chat about stuff, just talk smack, you know. Is that cool? Oh, that, yeah, that's totally cool. You don't have to have a question. Because it question gets pretty... just be like, is it okay to call up and not have a question? Maybe. Oh, okay, let's do that one. One, two, three. Welcome to Deacon's Podcast. Tonight... On Just Ask Stu. Oh, wh whoops, that's you. Stu. Oh, yeah. mm, we'll do another one. Okay. Let's do another backup one. one. A backup one, yes. Backup one? Okay. Greetings. Uh, welcome to Deacon's Podcast. Tonight is. And then you do that bit. Just Ask Stu. Okay. Um, okay, ready. Is it okay? to call you to do a Just Ask Stu segment if I don't have a question and I just wanted to say hi. The answer to that is yes, it's okay. Cool. So what are you doing? Um, oh, I've just, I've got a couple of, of friends, they gave me their laptops and I'm upgrading their um, memory and I'm updating that OS the operating systems on those laptops. Oh. <clears throat> I've been doing some paintings recently, Stu. Oh, yeah. Yes. Are you just so you're just painting people you know? I did a, yeah. I'm doing a painting of Peter because because he's dead. Oh that's nice. So that's nice. I had one with that you in it too. They did. They drew you in it, and they made you all rosy cheeked. It's so cute. Uh, yeah, it kind of yeah. makes me think. Yes, yeah, makes me think of you as a focused on that potential victim, mm. which I suppose you are, technically. Um, Anyways, I'm doing so, this. I'm doing a landscape. Oh yeah. It's so bleak. Sorry. It's a town I lived in when I was younger. Oh. When I sold Europe. cardboard boxes, yes. Oh. Did, um, I, did I ever tell you about that? No. You sold cardboard boxes? Yes. Oh. My mother oh. was a cardboard box repairs woman. Oh, yeah. And she would take people's cardboard boxes yeah. and use this glue that she made from plants and pigs and she would glue the boxes back together mm. i had to go to the markets and sell the boxes and my sister and i invented this concept called the russian box which is actually a big box but when you look inside it there's a smaller one and you look inside that one and there's a smaller one and it just keeps going all the way down to a tiny little box, which yeah. is just the perfect size for putting your thumb in or your a lipstick or some lint or something mm. for like for the discreet gentleman. And so we would sell this the Russian box kit, the whole set door to door. Great. I guess cardboard back then was quite uh, almost rare. Like it was. I mean, oh, it was you, the it was the new thing. If you had a box and you broke it, you wanted to fix it, not just throw it away, right? That's right. This we we were that the we were that the cool kids in the village fixing everyone's cardboard boxes. Great. And they broke quite a lot because people would put quite heavy shit in there. They put yeah. their baby goat in the cardboard box, and it would fall out the bottom, 
So that box straight over to our place would fix that, send it back. Did you maybe put a note in there saying, don't put a baby goat and a pumpkin in? Or no. We, no, we did didn't do that. Advice, or was more like just doing the fixing? No, because they paid us a fee every time we fixed their box. And they can learn that oh, lesson okay. themselves. Can learn it multiple times, right? A couple of people I said, hey, don't. Just with this box, it's not really going to work with if you're going to put bricks in it. Yeah. Probably do avoid that, but that's just for friends, you know. Yeah. I'm out at a restaurant right now. We're just waiting for a table, actually. Oh, cool. So I got you. Mm -hmm. So is it okay to chat? Maybe we could carry it on later later on, if that's all right. Can we just have a quick chat now? Because just because it's pretty oh, okay. boring here. Okay, what's going on there? Um, not much. Right. Oh, hey, I'm doing this painting for the fans, and I want to I want to meld a couple of different artistic movements. Uh, yeah. One uh, one that I like um, from from when I was younger which is kind of like post-war, kind of a bit post-apocalypse, but it's actually, it's actually modernist. Um, but there was this Romanian movement called, um, the translation is like anti-beauty. Oh, really? Wow. Where it had to look shit, you know? Had to be gross. Yeah. Kind of like, um, like Bhutto dance, you know? Uh, it's kind yeah, of... Yeah difficult and hard to accept to accept right. so this is we had this movement in painting in romania yeah and um it's so great and i thought i'll take that and i wanted to meld it with a more kind of contemporary artistic movement and this is one yeah. that i find really compelling and also yeah. so difficult it's called where's wally, where's wally? the where's wally movement so intense so i um so i did i'm doing this painting and i've got yeah. myself in in there as where's wally kind of like can you find me in the painting and um do you have the stripy shirt on or are you well that's the thing because the at the essence of the where's wally movement is you're not supposed to be able to find wally yeah right yeah yeah what the hell is that it's so intense that's so yeah. so I, I feel like that's kind of in response to other painting movements that are a little bit more accessible this one right. they make you work harder harder it's yeah. it really like fucking with the audience's sense of acceptance by the art world where artists would no longer care for their audience and they no longer right. care if the audience is in understands or not yeah, you so know? Do you want to just look at an image for five seconds? Well, here's an image, and you know, I challenge you. To yes, and they longer. they ask you they straight into your face, "Where is Wally?" Wow, they're really laying down the challenge. Yes, almost like a, an artistic jewel. The painting that you're painting sounds quite dark. It's totally post-war, depression, right. and the, the landscape is burnt and dead. And then there's a little hill with a castle on it, which has survived the apocalypse. And I've yeah. got Peter in the window, and he's waving down at me, and I'm right. standing on the path looking up, and I have my, bo my, my Russian box set, and I'm yeah. going, hello, and... Yeah. I wanted to treat this with the most intense version of Will's Wally right. so that you will look at the painting and it will say, where is Deacon? Uh -huh. And so I tested it on a victim who came to the house and I said, can you find Deacon here? Yeah. And she said, is that you just there? And I went, I don't know. You tell me. And she went, yes, I think that's you yeah. right, right in the middle. Was it you? Yes. Oh. So I realized I'm not very good at the Weir's Wally movement, that I need more practice. Oh. So it's a nighttime scene. How 
how is it? What is the light? It was just dark, bleak, just turgid. Is the moon? Is the moon there? Yes. Is there, well, is there some moonlight. Well, the moon's behind the cloud, and but fully behind the cloud. Well, it makes the cloud look a little bit luminous. Can you see any part of the moon? It's not really about the moon, Stu. Well, so, I was just wondering. Yeah. Yes, a bit. If Stu, yeah. do you want me to do a painting of the moon? You can have it. I mean, I think you should only paint the moon if you want to paint the moon. And you already said you're going to do a painting of me, and that's like amazing. But you know what? I'm going to do a painting of you with the full moon, or is that going to be too intense? Well, to be honest, maybe you've found something here with the painting, and that you're able to express or portray situations that probably can't normally happen because they're so intense. For yeah. example, you, Stu, daylight, Stu. Listen, listen to me. Yeah. Do you want a painting with a, of a moon? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. I'm doing it for you. Okay. Don't have to feel bad that someone wants to do a painting of your favorite thing, because I know that's what you want. I think that's yeah. very nice. Okay, but at the same time, if you wanted to paint the sun, not this is a separate thing for you, but I'm just telling you that what we've realized in this talk today is that you, you know, you can probably paint the sun. Maybe. But yeah, painting of the moon would be awesome. It just, just back to this sun painting thing. I'm, I'm oh, not sure. I no, it's fine. It's not your fault because it's, I mean, it's easy for you to say that because you can hang out in the day and that's fine. I got no problem right. with that. I don't want to rub it in. No, no, that's fine. Don't worry about that. I don't want to seem like I'm getting pissy because, because now we're talking about sun paintings because honestly, that's fine. That's what people do. But if I painted a picture of the sun, yeah. I'm going to get burnt to a crisp. But it's, it's just, I mean, it is actually just paint. It's like... But, I'm, but am, I going to, am I going to get burnt to a crisp? Well, you will if you look outside at the sun to see what it looks like when you're trying to paint the sun. But if you're, if you're painting it from memory or a picture... Yes, but this is, this is the... This is the horrific dilemma. This is where someone, oh, why don't you paint the picture of the sun? Oh, yes, what a good idea. Let me have a look at it. <laughs> and then burst, burn to a crisp. Okay, well, all right. Then, not, then it's a bad idea. And so what, if, what if I painted you. a painting of the sun by looking at another painting of the sun? Yeah, or you could paint, paint a painting of the sun. So, yeah. I look at a painting of the sun and paint and that pa painting. And paint that painting, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably do that. Or paint a picture of a poached egg and at the very last minute change it to the sun.